An attorney representing the family of a Seneca teenager shot and killed by an officer this week is speaking only to Fox Carolina. Yeah, he says a second autopsy actually shows there's inconsistencies in that police report. Ashley Minnelli is actually live from where the shooting happened. Ashley, how, how are police responding to this? Unfortunately, Ben, they're not commenting about the shooting at this time, other than what they told us Monday. And the police chief says when this happened back here in the parking lot behind the Hardys on 123, that officer feared for his life. We're told Zachary Hammond, take a look at him, uh, was trying to, was attempted to being arrested. The officer was trying to arrest Zachary Hammond on a drug violation during an undercover operation. We're told the officer who fatally shot Hammond was in uniform and was approaching his car when the chief says Hammond accelerated toward him. Now, taking a look back at the scene from Sunday night here, the coroner tells us an autopsy shows that gunshot wounds did happen in the chest and shoulder. Now, an attorney for Hammond's family claims a second autopsy he ordered by an independent uh, uh, examiner out of Greenville shows those bullets were fired from behind and on the side of Hammond's car. The officer, were, uh, he believes, was not in danger as he reported that night. You shoot a night kid unarmed when his car was already pinned in is extraordinary to me. When the driver accelerated and came toward the officer, he fired two shots in self-defense, which unfortunately was fatal for the suspect. And this woman, Tori Morton, was actually in the car with him in that night and arrested for possession, simple possession of marijuana, but did not want to comment on the case. Now, you heard uh, Hammond's attorney say that the car was pinned in. He actually believes there was a police cruiser and another undercover car that uh, did not allow Hammond to drive off, as the police chief reported. Um, and again, the chief did not want to comment further other than what he told us Monday because SLED is still investigating this shooting. Ben Lauren? Yeah, you know, it's it's tough. Obviously, that family is very emotional. They want to get to the bottom of this. So we'll talk more about this later. Ashley, thank you.